everybody, Swan's here today to make a video. Ka -ka 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 awesome, great intro. As you know, it is Halloween. And it's a tradition on this channel starting last year that I'm gonna do a Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys. I decided to do something I've never done before because that's how I roll, okay? Putting me and you out of our comfort zones. <laughs> so today I wanna do a jack-o'-lantern Halloween look because I mean what's more Halloween themed styled than like a classic freaking jack-o'-lantern and then maybe uh, After watching this tutorial you guys will want to be jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. I for one am pretty excited I have like a little outfit costume picked out uh, To pair with the look the makeup look when we're done and so I'm really excited to just get into it and most of my videos, I sit down and I say, now this is not an educational tool, but this time, fuck it, it's an educational tool. <laughs> wow, Sarah, really? I mean, I'm going to try to be as educational as possible, uh, and I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I have, uh, not only do I have regular makeup here, but I also have face paint because we are going to be needing both of those things. Like I said, I have not done this before. Results may vary. Hopefully it comes out good. <laughs> Let's get started. Now the first step is I'm going to cover my face in just white Halloween face paint. This stuff is just, I don't remember, I think I probably got it from Walmart. It's just literally like vampire face paint. So I'm just going to cover my whole face with that because it's going to act like a base for us to blend our other colors into. Um, since we are a jack-o'-lantern, obviously our face is going to be orange. Now, if you want to make sure your hair doesn't get face paint in it, figure that out. I mean, I didn't decide to figure it out, so <laughs> don't be like me. Now, do I know if you're supposed to put this near your eyes? I don't. So also, maybe read the packaging because it'll probably tell you if you should not put it near your eyes. There's a lot of people on YouTube, I'm sure, who do these kinds of makeup tutorials. There's probably plenty of people who have already done jack-o'-lanterns. And a lot of those are probably makeup people and they're probably going to approach this very differently from how I'm going to approach it because I'm not approaching it like a makeup person. I'm approaching it like a painter. All my knowledge is pulled from like a art background, not that makeup is an art just that uh, it's they're different techniques so if you're wondering why I'm doing a certain thing I'm doing that's probably why now I don't have orange in my face paint but I do have red and yellow which you know make orange so I'm going to just blend those together all over my face until I feel like I have a good orange color that I like okay so just starting out here the red is way more pigmented than the yellow so I'm actually gonna go back into the yellow to try and orange that up a little bit. Around the eyes is not quite as important because that's all gonna be black, obviously, because we are a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, so, that's fine. Okay, feeling orange, but not orange enough. Having to blend manually like this has its ups and its downs. The downside is it's gonna take a lot longer um, and just having like a full coverage orange, you're just fucking me done already. But then, I mean, the upside is that you can control the color better when you mix it yourself. So it's not, it's not all bad. <laughs> I'm trying to turn down my ring light so that you can try to see. The color is actually a lot uh, darker. Uh, the uh, ring light sort of washes it out a little bit, but I think I'm happy with this orange. What I've noticed for the face paint that I'm using is that the yellow is definitely, you want more yellow than red, because um, the red has, the red is very pigmented, and it has almost a bluish undertone to it, and so you really need to warm it up to get a good orange color. Now, again, I am using CC Beauty Professional Cosmetics uh, face paint, uh, same stuff I had last year, which I got off Amazon for like $20 or $22, something like that. Now we're going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to take my face paint and a brush that I've dedicated for use of face paint uh, because this stuff is kind of hard to clean off. You don't want to use paint brushes that go in paint on your face. 
Um, you also probably don't want to use your makeup brushes because you might ruin them. But now I'm just going to uh, draw the outline of the jack-o'-lantern face over my face. It, you you could glue down your eyebrows for this. Um, I have never perfected gluing down my eyebrows, so I'm not going to attempt to do that today. But if you're good at gluing down your eyebrows, uh, that would probably be useful for this. Now I'm using a brush with a very flat edge to it because it makes it super easy to just draw those triangular shapes. And as you can see, I'm doing one side at a time so that I can mimic what I've just done and get them as close, uh, you know, as even as possible. Okay, so that is the outline for my jack-o'-lantern mouth. Now, you can do, you know, whatever mouth shape you want. That's what's so cool about this makeup look is that jack-o'-lanterns come in like all different like mouth and face configurations. Um, so you can do a different mouth. You can do one with those cute little teeth if you want. You can be more or less creepy if you want. Um, that's what I love about this makeup look, even though I haven't done it yet. Um, I love the idea of it because I think it could be very versatile. You can have a whole group of people being jack-o'-lanterns and none of them looking the same. Dang it. Why is it so hard to draw a triangle on my nose? I don't know, Sarah, maybe because your nose isn't flat? Could that be it? Shut up, Sarah. You think you're so fu fucking smart. Okay, I'm a tad bit of a perfectionist and I feel like that's going to be... I should walk away from it before I just make it worse. <laughs> and we're going to come back later and... Uh, touch up the the darkness um, but now I'm gonna move to the eye I had a brief idea that I wanted to make it look like it was cut out like an actual pumpkin but I don't really know if I want to do that I think I just want to make them black, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid, so. Now, before we fill in the black, we are going to do like the lines in the face of the pumpkin. Um, so I'm just going to mix up some brown and yellow and red to make like a, a dark orange. I'm gonna use that, that color to just draw the pumpkin shapes. And you're gonna wanna kinda go in like arches, you know? Cause pumpkins are round. Now I think it's actually kind of nice to add little bumpies and stuff along the way cause I think it will add texture. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding the lines, okay? I'm gonna do one around my jaw as well. And then I'm gonna use my finger and just blend them out. I'm sure you can use some type of makeup tool for this if you feel inclined. I'm just a finger using bitch, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna use that same color and go around like my hairline and, and my jaw to darken it up a little or to box in the pumpkin shape you know what I mean now I'm just kind of like going back and retouching those lines now I'm gonna take a slightly lighter color that's more like an orange and just add some little bumpies so just like some kind of bumpy lines you know and kind of follow the curve we were already kind of following. Okay, now that we've got our warty pumpkin dimples, <laughs> dimples, we're just gonna use straight brown without mixing it with anything. And we're gonna go back into those lines and further kind of uh, detail them. 
So this time we're gonna be very careful not to mess anything up. And as you can see, I'm also giving some uh, like wartiness even in those lines. So I'm not making them perfectly like, you know, uh, curved or straight. I'm doing a little bit of a variation in there, a little bit of squiggles here and there. I actually think if you could incorporate your neck, that would actually be really cool. Um, and I'm all for it. Now we are going to start filling in the blackness. So you want to find yourself a nice dark eyeshadow. And we're gonna go around the eye, right, with eyeshadow, not face paint. So I'm just gonna start blending that into my lid there. Doesn't, you don't have to be precise because you're gonna clean it up with the face paint. I am, however, going to use a brush, a makeup brush to do my bottom lid. That way, you know, we're not gonna be risking messing up the face paint. So now you have a couple options with how you wanna fill in your eye triangles. You can use the face paint, uh, you can use like black liquid lipstick, uh, you can just use, if you have a really nice full coverage black eyeshadow, you can do that as well. So you just kind of want to black that out. I'm going to try to use a mixture of face paint and eyeshadow, so let's just do that. Again, I'm using my angled brush to try and keep my strokes nice and sharp. That way we have less of a chance of messing up, hopefully. Just gonna go right through that eyebrow. It can also be helpful to just take some black eyeshadow on your uh, finger and just kind of pat it in uh, to try and like, in a way, like seal the face paint in. I'm also going to go in to my waterline and stuff with uh, eyeliner to kind of try and, uh, you know, fill that, that uh, uh, space in better. Okay, so it doesn't matter, you know, you can make your jack lantern eye triangles as big or as small as you want. You can even make them other shapes besides triangle. The reason why I chose to make them this big is because I wanted to cover the majority of my eyebrow because I knew that I wasn't going to glue my eyebrows down and I thought it would look stupid if a jack lantern had eyebrows. So I wanted to cover them as much as possible. So you do not need to make yours obviously as big as I made mine. Now I am going to pat some eyeshadow into the nose for the same reason as I did with the eyes. Now this brand of face paint that I'm using does dry over time and uh, reduce the chances of smudging, um, but it does take a little time for it to kind of dry and set into the skin. Now lastly, we are going to fill in the mouth. Okay, before we get too far into it, I'm going to use black liquid lipstick. This is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and I'm going to fill in my lips because you don't want to put face paint on your lips. And you don't need to be precise with this at all because it's all going to be blacked out anyway. This is purely so that we are not putting the face paint in or around our mouth. In or around our mouth. If you feel like you struggle with making straight lines, seriously, just get yourself an angled brush because it takes out so much of the guesswork for you. You know, you just lay it down flat and drag it. You know, you're not sitting there meticulously painting a straight line. Pumpkin! 
Okay, now I'm going to again take black eyeshadow and pat it in to the black parts. Be careful that you don't go out of the lines. This is also going to take out any visible brush strokes. Make it look nice and opaque. That is looking pumpkalicious. My body staying vicious up in the club, just working on my fitness. I really don't think that's how it goes. He my witness. Ooh. Okay, Sarah, you need to stop. Okay, now like I said, I have some black eyeliner. I'm going to go into my waterline very gently without messing up my face paint. We're gonna do top and bottom because we really don't want visible skin color here. Cause that destroys our illusion. Uh, now I think I wanna go ahead and highlight the pumpkin. So make sure you clean off your brush real nice so that you don't have a bunch of previous colors stuck to it. Cause that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Especially if you just use black. That's like the antithesis of a highlight and we don't want that. A low light, if you will. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it's called, sir. All right, so my brush is clean. Oh, my nose is itchy right here. Ooh, ooh, just stab it with the fingernail. That's how you itch. Ooh, okay, feel nice. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna take the peach color and I'm gonna add some yellow to it and then also some white. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yes, much better. Okay, you're just gonna go along those lines you made before. Especially if you made any little like dimple pimplies, you can, you know, add some depth to those. You can also just add some lines of their own that don't like coincide with any of the other lines, just as like an added level of texture. Get out of here, hair. Nobody wants you. So there you have it. So far we've got a very dimply pimply pumpkin face. Now I'm gonna go back into the brown and actually try and touch up these lines a little better now that my mouth is filled in. So like I said at the top, I've actually never done this before. So if you find like a different, better way for you to do it, you know, feel free to change it up however you want. Oh God, don't do what I just did. I grabbed my eye and pulled it into my orange. I ruined everything. Okay, now the actual final step of the face makeup itself is to do a little final highlight, which I'm actually just gonna use straight white for this. Um, and I wanna highlight around the triangles. And I'm just gonna be very ginger with my angled brush. I'm just gonna tap and move my brush like this. Tap, tap, tap. Maybe a slight drag if I feel confident. You don't have to completely surround it. You just wanna hit the each corner, you know what I mean? Like you don't need to do, like connect the lines perfectly on every highlight, if that makes sense. Like this line I'm doing now is not touching the other, the last line I just did. It's just there enough to indicate did want to try to do some Halloween lashes. Uh, I got these from the Dollar Tree, so they might, I don't know, be just complete shit, but I thought it would be cute just to try. Um, and as you can see, they're very Halloween-y. I mean, that could or could not be pretty cute. I don't know. I also have plain black. Doesn't hurt to try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these. I'm gonna give them a little trim first. Now this is only the second time I've ever put on lashes, so this could be terrible. Okay guys, here's the 411. I tried to do those eyelashes. The adhesive that came with them was absolute booty hole. Didn't work at all. Uh, luckily our eyes are completely blacked out, so I guess we don't need lashes. Um, and then the last thing I did off camera was add a little bit more highlight 
around the um, section lines in the face and then I darken them up a little bit. So now our pumpkin makeup is complete and I'm going to put on my pumpkin costume and wig and then I will give you the final reveal. Well, there you guys have it, a nice Halloween makeup look. If you wanna be a pumpkin this year, I've got you covered, cause you can do this and look like a pumpkin. I think the only thing that I would have done differently is maybe try to make the eyes smaller or maybe do something more fun, maybe make the eyes a different shape. Um, but I mean, all over, I think it came out pretty good and I would definitely feel cute and have a lot of fun going out in public like this on Halloween. Uh, like I said, I think being a pumpkin is a really cool, cute thing to do, and there's so many options. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to be a jack-o'-lantern this year for Halloween. Uh, let me know how you think it came out, what you would have done differently, what you're going to do differently if you do it. Um, yeah. And then also let me know if you want to see me try a different makeup Halloween look. There's plenty of October left, so I can definitely do... Uh, another makeup tutorial, but I am gonna do some pumpkin carving for sure And you know how I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that these this springy thing. Well, oh, oops Didn't mean to do that <laughs> This springy thing is really fun and very cool. I got it from the Dollar Tree for you guessed one dollar and now I'm going to take a moment to thank my patrons. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. A uh, quick Patreon announcement. I am working on designing my very own tarot deck right now. This is the first time I'm mentioning it on YouTube. I have mentioned it on Instagram and Patreon. If you want live every single day of October updates on that tarot deck, meaning a new card design every day, check out my Patreon. <laughs> and now I will verbally thank my diamond tier patrons. Thank you so much, Lindsay and Sarah. You guys are great. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, and click all my little buttons. You click my subscribe circle or the video or playlist that is listed below. You will also find a link down there to my Patreon. I love you guys. Bye!